Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are one of my favorite Halloween candies. Actually, it is my favorite Halloween candy. But one of those Reese's Cups puts me over the amount of sugar that I can have in an entire day. So what did I do? I made a keto copycat with barely any carbs. It has the same texture and is absolutely delicious. Let me show you how to make them. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, or Reese Cups as they're known in the South, South's the only place in the world where you can take a seven syllable word, turn it into three syllables, and people still know what you're talking about. You can call them what you want, but I've always called them delicious. There's just something about that peanut butter and chocolate together that is the perfect combination for any time of year, but especially for Halloween. When I go trick or treating as a kid, that's what I always hoped I would get. Let's get right into this though. Let me show you exactly how I make these, and I hope you enjoy it. Well, first of all, let me show you all the ingredients you're going to need for these Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. First thing you're going to need is some natural peanut butter. And if you see the ingredients on this, it's 100% unsalted peanuts. They don't add any extra oils in there. They don't add any sugar in there. I get this at Ingles, but a lot of the natural grocery stores like Whole Foods, Earth Fair, Fresh Market, a lot of those stores will have this natural peanut butter, and this is what I recommend because there's no additives, no preservatives, nothing but real peanuts. You're going to need some butter. Of course, I love this Kerrygold butter or Aldi version, which is Kerrygold, just the Irish butter from Aldi. You're going to need a bar of Lily's semi-sweet style baking bar. Now, this is slightly sweetened, but it's sweetened with stevia, so there's no added sugars. Or if you can't find this, you can always do this one. This is a Mill City Organics. I find this at Walmart, and it's 100% unsweetened chocolate. It's less than $3, and you can add your own sweetener to this. Then I'm going to need this PB2. So this is peanut powder. I use the crunchy one just to give it a little bit of texture inside these peanut butter cups. This 6.5 ounce container is exactly how much you need for this recipe. So if you can find this, if you don't like the little bit of crunch in there, you can get the creamy also. I just do this for the texture. You'll see. You're also going to need some confectioner swerve. You want to make sure you get this powdered kind because the granulated will not work in this recipe. You'll have little granules that will not absorb in there. It's going to mess your texture up. So go get some of this. And I'll put a link down below to some of these if you can't find them locally. You're going to need some vanilla extract and some Redmond Real Salt or pink Himalayan salt, either way. It just brings out the sweetness in the recipe. You're not gonna taste the saltiness in there. It just enhances the flavor so much. So these are all the ingredients you're gonna need. The last thing you'll need is one of these silicone muffin pans. Now this is a 12, 12 muffin pan, and each one of these is two and a half inches wide. And I'll put a link to this one down below if you don't have one. Silicone just makes them come out a whole lot better. You could also use a metal one if you don't have one of these and just line it with those foil muffin liners and then spray it. And I'm gonna spray this with avocado oil, even though they generally come out okay. We just wanna make sure we don't have any breakage. So I'm gonna measure everything out and I'll show you what to do next. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw this butter right in the pot. I'm going to turn this on like a medium low and just melt that. Now I've already got this Lily's bar broken up. You're going to use the whole bar in here for this recipe. And a lot of people like to use a double boiler, but as long as you keep it on low and keep your eyes on it, it's going to do just fine right here in this pot with the butter. So as soon as this is melted, I'm going to throw these in and we'll start to combine them together. So the butter is starting to melt a little bit like that. I'm just going to move it around, make sure this is all coated on the bottom of the pot. I'll go ahead and throw some of this chocolate in there. So that's the whole bar of chocolate in there. I'm just going to start working this around. Melt this down and then I'll show you the next step. So you see how this is just coming together like that. Just keep stirring it. It's going to be a full chocolate sauce in just a minute. So just make sure you get that chocolate and butter really well combined like that. And we'll take it over to the muffin pan and I'll show you what to do next. 
So I sprayed this muffin pan down with this avocado oil, and now I'm gonna start putting the chocolate in here. I'm just gonna go in and get a little bit of chocolate here. Now all you wanna do is just coat the bottom. We're gonna let it cool for a little bit, and then we're gonna fill it up with the peanut butter filling. So this is what it looks like. You just want a very thin coat of chocolate along the bottom. We're gonna put these in the freezer for a little bit and let them cool. Then we're gonna to put together our peanut butter filling and we're gonna coat the top with chocolate also or our Reese's peanut butter cups. So I just put this chocolate back on the stove. It'll probably harden up just a little bit while we're making the peanut butter mix to put in the middle. But that's okay, we'll just heat it back up in a little bit before the top. All right, so we're just gonna take this butter. We need to melt this butter and we also need to melt the peanut butter. So I'm going to put this in a bowl, throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I'll probably have to stir it around a little bit and we'll melt that and then we'll go with the peanut butter. And now I'm gonna throw the peanut butter in the microwave and melt this down. So I put this peanut butter in the microwave for a little bit. Now the natural peanut butter, it's not gonna melt, melt. That's the consistency you get. I'm gonna pour the butter right into there. I'm gonna mix this together. Kind of press that down, get that butter inside there real good because it doesn't have any added oils in this. This butter is going to bring the moisture level up a little bit in there. We'll just keep working this around for a little bit and we're going to add it to the other bowl and then mix our peanut butter powder in there. Okay, so this is well mixed. I'm going to pour it in this mixing bowl now. Make sure and get all this out. If it has a few little pieces like that, that's okay. But you want to try to mix it up as well as you can. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the powdered swerve. Give that a little mix. I'm going to go ahead and add in a teaspoon of vanilla. Make sure you use real vanilla extract. Don't use that fake stuff. It doesn't taste good and you don't want to know what it's made out of. And then the last thing is the Redmond salt. Quarter teaspoon of that. And like I said earlier, you're not going to taste that salt. It just brings out the flavor. It enhances all the sweetness. It makes it taste really good. So we'll just mix this together. Get that all incorporated. And then once that's all incorporated, so I'm going to go in with half of this to begin with and mix it in. So we don't want it too dry to work with. So yeah, about that much. Mix it all together like that. And I'm going to throw in the rest of it. Oh, there we go. Make sure you get all that out of there. I'm going to get this, just try to get everything out of the middle of the whisk so I can mix it together a little better. Of course, you got to leave a little bit on there to taste. Make sure it tastes okay. I'm just going to combine this all together. I get all that dry peanut butter incorporated in there, and then I'll show you the next step. So this is what it looks like. So it's not a batter. It's almost like a dough. This is what you want. This is what you want it to look like. That's going to help press down into the muffin pan, which that chocolate is cooled. So we're going to just spoon it out into there. Press it down and I'm going to cover the top with chocolate. All right, so we're just going to put it on a cutting board here. And since we've got 12 of these we're going to make, we're going to cut that into 12 pieces. So we're going to finish cutting this up. I'll be right back and I'll show you what to do next. So what you want to do is take each little portioned bit, put it in the muffin pan and press it down. Now these actually make like a double size Reese's peanut butter cup. So it's almost like having the two pack, but just in one handy little package. So we're just going to keep pressing these in here. Then we're going to cover them in the chocolate. These will be ready to eat. And hey, if you don't like double size Reese's peanut butter cups, Get two of these and make 24 of them. You probably want to add a little more chocolate, but these come out great. So now you just want to take your melted chocolate, put it right over the top like that. 
Just make sure you get enough on each one, but you can come back and do it. You don't want to run out of chocolate, so you can always put a little extra in there if you want to. And just cover them a little bit to begin with. Then come back and do more if you need to. So after you get them covered, just take a spoon and go around like that. Make sure it's covered all the way. In case you're wondering about the fingernails in this, this is my wife doing this so I can record it. Yeah, those are looking real good. We got three to go. Those are looking great already, but we got one more step before they're done. So the last step that we have to do to get these ready, they're going to have to go in the refrigerator for one hour. I know it's hard to wait, but you're going to have to wait or they're going to fall apart. So one hour in the fridge, and these are good to go. So it has been one hour, and we're going to pop these out and see what they look like. Oh, that looks delicious. And that's what it looks like when you cut it open. So if that's too big for you, then share it with a friend. I think I'm going to have this whole one myself. This is what we have. Delicious Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Happy Halloween. Low carb, chocolatey, peanut buttery deliciousness. That's what I call these. And I hope you'll call them one of your favorites also. Please leave me a comment when you try these. Let me know if you like the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or Reese Cups. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. If you like seeing videos like this, I'll do these seasonal videos all year round. If you like seeing them, make sure you go right now here, hit the subscribe button, and there's a little bell right there. When you hit that, you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video for Halloween, or any time of the year. I'm gonna drop a couple more videos here at the end that I think you're gonna like. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna see you on the next video.